All right, guys, so I'm sure you're probably wondering what we're doing today. Now we're gonna leave things in charcoal lighter fluid. What five things will we be leaving in charcoal lighter fluid? The first one, as I already kind of gave you a little sneak peek of, a bunch of little rubber chickens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? This is gonna be our first item. I haven't done this yet, but I want to take all these and squeeze them together. <laughs> It's like a, like a choir of dying chickens. Okay, let's, let's shove these in the jar. Come on, get in there. All right, seven chickens in the jar. Our second item, and it hits me right in the childhood, are these. This is a sticky hand that you can stick, throw it and stick to stuff. Or you can pull it like a slingshot, you can Stick it to all kinds of stuff. And I'm sure many of you guys, like me, used to do this, take it, and stick it to, not a garage door, but the ceiling, and then it would sit there because you couldn't get it down, and then it would leave this crazy imprint of a hand on the ceiling. So I have a bunch of those, like this many to be exact. That was the worst possible way to try to get those in there. All right, and I have more. I wanted to see how far these things stretched. Oh wow, that's actually pretty far. All right, so we have a jar of sticky hands. Our third and not as exciting item, we have eggs. We're gonna do four eggs. I know that's only two. I know somebody was sitting there watching, that's only two. Four eggs. Now for our fourth item, we have this little thing that I found on Amazon, Flippy Kitten, whatever that means. But you're supposed to be able to squeeze it. Just so to squeeze it <laughs> and the eyes come out. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it was worth like the seven dollars I paid for it, but pretty cool. When you find out you have to wait 30 days for this video. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get him in here. Yeah. Make it to where he stands up just like this. And our fifth and final item, it is just so disgusting and so foul that I have to put on a glove to even handle it. Here's our jar, and here's our fifth item. It really shouldn't even be sold in stores. <coughs> the, the, these smell so bad. I know you guys have heard me complain about pickles so many times, but I still, even when I open this jar, who opens this and thinks this is good? Let's just load this thing up. All right, now that we have all of our items in the jars, let's start filling them up with lighter fluid. All right, we got all of our items in all of our jars filled with the charcoal lighter fluid. So now we just gotta wait 30 days, see what happens. All right guys, obviously it's been 30 days since these items have been sitting in lighter fluid. So hopefully you're as excited as me to see what's going on in these jars. Number one, you can see our rubber chickens. It kind of looks like the like the color from the rubber chickens has kind of bleeded off into the jar. Stretchy hands. It looks like our stretchy hands have kind of just like swollen up into a, a giant blob. And then these last three, at least from the outside, it doesn't look like a whole lot happened. So let's dig into these jars and see what's going on. All right. Jar number one, our rubber chickens. See what's going on in here. See if, yeah, 
Just as I suspected. Looks like the color has kind of bled off of the chickens. And now it, <laughs> it makes all this actually kind of look like, uh, I was gonna say gasoline, but I guess more like diesel. That's probably what it looks more like. Oh, wow. Oh. It's made these rubber chickens really hard. Let me get, let me just get these out of here. That's unexpected. All right, so, oh wow. It's made, it's, it's hardened the plastic a lot. Where you can't even, wow. Let me get one that hasn't been in lighter fluid just so, just so you can see the difference. I mean, obviously, no lighter fluid. Nice and soft, just like it was when we put it in the jar. And now after the jar, completely hard, almost like it was, I don't know. And you can see, whenever I bend it, you can see like the, the stress marks where it's like it's gonna break. I think there's a little tear there. Oh yeah, see look, now, oh I broke it, oh, broke his head off. Let's see here, man these things are tough. Oh, hey you can see that I kinda was able to rip it a little bit, but you can see just how brutal these things are. I mean, these things are like, like rock hard now. Obviously, I'm not a scientist, so I, I don't know if, I don't know what causes that, but something in the lighter fluid over time makes the, the rubber in the chicken, or the, I, this isn't really rubber, I guess it's more plastic, but something about it, what it does to the plastic, makes it extremely hard. So, that's very interesting, but kind of crazy. Jar number two, our stretchy hands. So, since the, it made the rubber chickens very, very hard, I'm going to assume that it's probably done something kind of similar. Oh no, those look very swollen actually. <laughs> that, that looks like a bunch of guts is what that looks like when it just pours out of there. All right, here's our sticky hand. Mmm, made it more brittle for sure. But other than that, This is, a, <laughs> this is a very satisfying, a very satisfying feeling. Other than making them more brittle, I don't think it really did anything. If you watch, maybe I can, wow, they're very slippery too. Maybe I can do it with the hand. If you look at the hand, whenever I pull it apart, yeah, you can see just how easily it rips. It just kind of deteriorated the the hand, I guess, because it, it looks it definitely looks like it's swelled up or swelled up or whatever. So it's made it brittle, and it made it look like a bunch of guts. <laughs> All right, jar number three, our little uh, like little cat toy or whatever, or not a cat toy, but it's a, a toy that's a, that's a cat. Let's see what's going on in here? Now before I pull this out, since the rubber chickens, you know, it like made them really really hard for some reason. And this is, you know, made of probably the, roughly the same material. I'm going to assume that that's what happened with this. Oh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right. <laughs> I can't get this thing out of the jar because I had to squeeze it into the jar. I had to squeeze it to get it in the jar, and then now where it's gotten, where the bladder fluids made it get real hard, I can't get it out of the jar. That means we have to break the jar. All right, so I don't know if you've if I posted it or not, but I did a review on this survival cane from Wish for a Wish Wednesday. But it has a glass breaker on the end of it, so I guess we're going to use it to break the glass. And it has a nice long reach, so I'm going to be pretty far away. Three, two, one. All right, here's what we have to do. I guess I guess we'll have to put let's we'll put the lid back on it, turn it. 
sideways. But don't worry, little buddy. I'm gonna get you out of there. All right. Three, two, one. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Let's get this broken glass out of the way. And now we have our toy. So, oh yeah, that's... <laughs> whatever, whatever is in lighter fluid, it makes this stuff really hard. A little bit of flex back in it right there. In the beginning, when, you know, obviously you guys saw whatever you'd squeeze this, the eyes would come out. Oh, wow. The eyes won't even come out. Jeez. So, <laughs> whatever kind of plastic, and I don't know if this is just happens to be the type of plastic that this is made out of and the rubber chickens are made out of, or if virtually any plastic that you leave in lighter fluid will do this, but it basically turns it to like concrete. And that's crazy. I would have never guessed that. I would have thought it would have deteriorated it before it would have you know, made it harder. I mean, if you push real hard, you can kind of get some flex out of it, but for the most part, it's pretty much just rock hard. So let's move on to the next thing. All right, jar number four, our eggs. Obviously these eggshells aren't plastic, but all the other stuff has gotten extremely hard. So I wonder if, I wonder if these eggs have done the same thing. Let's go ahead and dump this out. All right. Let's No. They seem to be the exact same. Of course, I don't really know of, like a definitive way to test this, but I wonder if the lighter fluid even got into the egg, but. Well, actually, it, yeah, it probably did, because that one kind of came out with, with the yolk broken. That one didn't, though. So, eggs just seem normal. Like, the shell feels exactly like a normal egg shell. Yeah, I don't think much happened to these eggs. After all the eggs that I've left in various different things, these eggs just seem completely normal. They smell bad, but they seem pretty much relatively unaffected. And now for our fifth and final item, and the, the worst of them all. I don't really care what happened to the pickles, to be completely honest. I was hoping that these things maybe would have like been banished from the earth or something. Let's pull one of these out of here. Yep. Oh, it smells like, <laughs> it smells like pickled lighter fluid. So it's still squishy, it's still disgusting. So let's get, get some of these out of here, maybe three. And then we can give them what they deserve. All right, everybody say goodbye to the pickles. Yep, this is what they get. Why aren't the pickles burning? Why is, why is the tin burning and not the pickles? Did the pickles not absorb any lighter fluid? Let's just, there we go. Get a little bit more in there. Die pickles, die! The sweet smell of burning pickles. Really? All right, well, oh, let's just use our, there we go, our fire extinguisher. All right, so obviously things got a little bit out of hand, and honestly, I was gonna light more of the items on fire. Like I was gonna take that little cat toy and light it on fire with some of the rubber chickens and stuff and you know, make a little, little funny piece about it. But after burning the pickles and that little fiasco, I think I'm gonna just call it quits for the day while I'm ahead, but while the garage is still standing, leaving things on lighter fluid, 
What did we learn? For some reason, it makes some plastics really hard, and I think I'm gonna dig more into that, maybe for a future video, because I don't know exactly what's happening or why it's happening, but it's very interesting. Um, eggs, doesn't really do much. Pickles, who cares about pickles? So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.